gang, so I just got back from a conference where I got to witness a speed pitching event where a hundred businesses each got 30 seconds to present their company, their startup. It was very fast, fairly chaotic, but I also noticed some patterns in how everybody talked about their companies. And I wasn't that impressed. So let's talk about some tips on how to do it better. The very first big thing I noticed was that it was really hard to catch the company's names. Now, we were asked to vote for the best pitch, but if I didn't catch the name, I didn't know who to vote for. And I would turn to people around me and ask them, hey, did you catch that, did you catch that? And everybody was shrugging. And what was happening there was that all the presenters would start with their name, their title, and then the company name, and they would do their pitch and would not repeat it again at the end. So we couldn't remember it. In a situation like that, the most important thing for us to remember is your company name because that's who we were trying to vote for. So just give your first name, forget about the titles because you're there presenting the startup. I'm going to assume you are a co-founder. And then repeat the company name again at the end so that one, we can find you at the expo and talk to you and two, we can vote for you. The second thing I noticed was that most presenters didn't clearly tell us who their buyers were. And if you can't tell me who your buyers are, but you're telling me that there's this product that solves a problem, there's a disconnect there. Is it really solving the problem? Because I don't know who you're selling to. So try to make sure that you do describe your audiences, not just the problems that your startup is looking to solve. Most presenters complain that 30 seconds is too brief. And it is, it goes by so fast. But the reality is that in this day and age, the average view time of a Facebook video is 20 seconds. So we are challenged with having to figure out how to get our message across very, very fast. You only have to gain from it. And if you're able to do this 30 second pitch, you're able to do a great ad, a great video ad, and are gonna be able to capture people's attention across multiple mediums. Now, I'm not sure if this is a real thing or not, but I noticed differences in how women pitched versus how men pitched. Men used a lot more numbers. Women were amazing at engaging the audience. Pretty much all of them started with storytelling, with saying, how many of you have experienced this? Really creating that connection. Unfortunately, when you only have 30 seconds, that takes up a lot of the time. And so many of the presenters who took that approach ran out of time. It's unfortunate. However, I think that was a very effective way of getting people's attention. And at the end of the night, it was a woman owned business who won the pitching competition. I also noticed how many of the presenters would use big words like disrupting and revolutionizing. If you are pitching an idea, it's not disruptive yet. You have to start disrupting for it to be disruptive. You're not gonna convince me to invest in you just because you use the term disruptive. Make it happen. Don't waste those precious 30 seconds on words that mean nothing at the stage. Oh, and then those of you who tried to be funny. Here's the thing with forcing a funny moment is that it just becomes awkward and then the audience just cringes. So if you can't, if you're not naturally funny, it's okay. Don't try it, cause you're just gonna bomb. Similarly, if you are not a good speaker, find somebody else within your organization who can represent you better. And here's another thing. I lost count of how many of the presenters were wearing sneakers on stage and not fashion athletic apparel. I was blown away by how many people looked like they had just rolled out of bed um, and got up on stage without even brushing their hair. Now I know, I know it sounds shallow to give the advice to put yourself together, but impressions matter. And when you only have 30 seconds, everything matters. Any little detail could be a turn on or a turn off. So do pay attention to those things. Your words matter, your looks matter. All startups need help to figure out their positioning statement. 
it doesn't just naturally happen that you will perfect it overnight and be able to get up there and do a 30 second pitch. I'm going to post in the description below a link to a video by a friend of mine, Susan Silver, with Argentum Strategy. She is a pro when it comes to helping startups develop positioning statements. And a positioning statement, if you follow her formula, will give you all of those elements that you needed in that 30 second pitch. During the conference lunch hour, I tried to network a little bit and I ended up sitting at a table with a gentleman whose name is Dick Mueller and he owns a construction company here in Chicago. And we were talking about um, our experience watching these pitches. And he said to me, the best pitch is to listen. And I will leave you with that thought and I'll see you back here next week.